Brian Bergstahl is the first Shawnee professional since Sam Snead to play in the U.S. Open and is the only professional from the Philadelphia PGA section playing in the Open this year. We weren't too surprised. A very, very strong player, and we knew he was going to do well, so it wasn't too surprising, to tell you the truth. The Shawnee Inn and Golf Resort sponsored Brian, the assistant golf pro, in the fall of 2007 as the resort's touring professional golfer. Bergstahl of Mount Bethel, Pennsylvania, will be departing to compete in the 2008 U.S. Open at the Torrey Pines Golf Course in San Diego, California. The U.S. Open commences June 12th. Brian plays second in the U.S. Open sectional qualifier, earning a spot at the U.S. Open on June 2nd. Brian shot 3 under 139 over 36 holes at the Members Club at Four Streams in Maryland. The first round, you know, I thought it should have been a little bit better, but uh, very two of the last three, 71, came in, kind of got to see the scores. It was only uh, two back of the lead, so we knew we were in it. Um, had a good start to the, to the second 18, was three under. Um, gave one back in the front, but still was two under. Um, birdie 10 right away. So right in the middle of that round, I started to feel, you know, if I could keep it where I was, three or four under, and just get it in the house, we'd have a pretty good chance of making it. Brian began playing golf at the age of 15 in his sophomore year of high school. Just something to do besides uh, playing baseball and basketball, something to do during the fall. So really it wasn't that serious when I first started. After my junior year of golf, um, uh, I started to get pretty good pretty quick. My high school coach, who's also my caddy, Greg Hartman, he talked to me about um, what do you want to do? And you got to decide. So what do you want? He meant like what do I want to do in college? And I think uh, that when I decided I wanted to play golf instead of, you know, play baseball only because golf I could get as good as I wanted to get uh, by practicing on my own. Baseball I needed other people. So uh, that's kind of when I decided, you know, maybe professional golf is maybe a possibility and what I wanted to start working for. And Brian's high school golf coach is now his caddy. Uh, originally he was my baseball coach first, my freshman year, because I wasn't even playing golf yet. He was my baseball coach and, you know, we started getting along pretty good and then played golf for him and since then things have just kind of grown into where he's more of like a second dad, like a mentor and also my caddy. So it's kind of the big thing when I went to the U.S. Open last year to watch was, I mean, I want to get there, but more of it was I wanted to get there so that he could get there and my dad could get there. So it was kind of more for them than it is for me. I mean, I'm all right with it. I knew I'd eventually probably get there, but I wanted to get there as soon as possible for them. So Shawnee was Brian's high school course and he grew up working here as well. And we have a lot of kids from the area here who come over late in the afternoon and play, and some of them are pretty darn good. And Brian is, is really outstanding, but he plays a lot of golf. He plays in a very challenging course. Shawnee is a challenging course. So I think it says something about both Shawnee and the course to have him do this well. Brian's home course is the Shawnee Inn and Golf Resort, built in 1911 by C.C. Worthington, a savvy engineer from New York City. The resort is located on the edge of the Delaware Water Gap Recreational Area, only 72 miles west of New York City and 100 miles north of Philadelphia. Our setting provides us with the marriage of both beauty and convenience. Shawnee is a stunning resort destination, featuring 80 rooms in the inn, 12 in Delaware Lodge, plus four luxury suites and three cottages in the Legacy Collection. The resort boasts one of only two championship courses designed by legendary golf architect A.W. Tillinghast that are open to the public, Shawnee being his first design ever. Three restaurants are located on property, Sam Sneed's Tavern, River Room, and the Bistro, which range from fine dining to casual fare.